Guys on the way, and I, I'm sure this is not the senior night you envisioned when you transferred here from Marquette. Uh, what was the experience like, and you know, what's it like knowing that you kind of played your last game at JVJ without ever getting the full experience in terms of the fan support that, that the program is known for? I mean, to be honest, it, fans or no fans, like we got a win tonight. My family was here to see me play. We got, you know, we played well as a team. Um, I couldn't ask for much more. I mean, it'd be great if the fans would be here to get a full experience, but it is what it is. You can't control that. I'm just glad we were able to get on the winning side of things finally, and um, hopefully we can take a step from here. And was this uh, a little bit tighter maybe than you guys envisioned? And uh, because you're in the middle of a slide when a game is tight, can you feel the team tightening up a little bit? I mean, to be honest, I mean, Miami's a good team. Like, um, they've played a lot of teams close. Um, they haven't, you know, get, been on the winning side of many games, but they've been really competitive. So we knew we had our hands full. They're, they're a good team with a lot of talent. And, um, you know, I think when the game got close, I think that's when we really, we really came together and showed some resilience and toughness, um, which we hadn't in the last few games. So I think it was a good stepping stone for our team. Um, and hopefully we can just keep getting better going into Saturday. Jeff asked you about the atmosphere at JPJ, the fans. I'm curious when you're picking a school to transfer to, was that a factor at all? Did, did you look at all at what a home game is like at UVA? Did that did that factor into your choice? I mean, I, I guess a little bit, but it, it was more of like the culture, Coach Bennett and his staff and uh, my teammates and um, knowing that it's a winning culture. So that was the fans, you know, I mean, I, I have all the respect in the world for the fans, but that – I was more um, focused on the basketball stuff rather than the, the external stuff. Sam, you guys got 20 points off the bench tonight. I was curious just how valuable that is from your perspective as a starter when, when they're carrying a little bit of that scoring load as well. Yeah, sometimes that's, that's the case. And I think Justin really stepped up tonight. I think Casey played really well, and it was great to have Tom back for sure. So, you know, those three guys played well tonight. And Poppy as well. He... Poppy has been given good minutes the last few games. He's been banging around and doing what he can. And I think all those guys have stepped up when we needed them, and they all have a lot of confidence right now, and that's good. And hopefully we can keep that. You know, Brad Frank, Brooklyn, Jenna Conlon, and my partner. Sam, you, obviously you have games in front of you, but senior nights are about some sort of you know element of reflection. I'm just curious, Coach, you talked about talking to the seniors last night about what each of you guys meant to him. And I'm just curious what he had to say sort of about you and what that sort of made you feel and about your you know entire journey coming here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep what he said um, between our team and um, but respectfully. Uh, but, it, you know, it's been a blessing to, to come and play for Coach Bennett. And I know he feels the same way about um, coaching me. Um, I couldn't have asked for much more outside of maybe some fans in the stands, but overall it's been a great year. Um, this place has been a blessing to me, and this coaching staff has been a blessing to me. So I'm, I'm really happy that I'm here and able to get a degree from Virginia. So um, definitely going to be some great memories that I'll hold on to forever. Tim, there were some long scoring drafts in the second half. I think one of them you got a basket in the, the paint to help end. Uh, from your perspective, is it sort of more important for you to – take the ball and command the ball in those moments when the team is gone a few minutes with a little bit of a scoring role? Yeah, I think so. I think um, I needed to do that uh, in certain situations. I also think we were getting really good shots, though, during uh, a couple of those droughts. I think um, the start of the second half comes to mind. I think we got about five or six really good looks. They just didn't fall. But um, I mean, if, if droughts happen like that, we're getting great shots. I think we just got to stick to what we're doing. And you know, they're going to fall eventually. So. Um, and it's kind of what happened tonight. I think you guys allowed 26 points in the paint tonight. Um, not usually what we expect from a Tony Bennett defense. I know it's happened before uh, for you guys. What do you see happening there? And is it something that you think can be corrected or improved? Or is that just kind of the way this, this year's team and this year's defense operates? Something we got to keep working at for sure every day in practice. Um, you know, we, we're, tr we're working hard. It's not like we're not trying to prevent that. So, um, but it is what it is. We got to take what it is and take it, take it to practice, work on it, get better, and um, hopefully come out better.
and, and there was a point where, where you guys were really rolling, you know, in the top ten. Um, obviously, it's such a weird year with the breaks and disjointed. Do you think that as we're heading to the postseason, your team can get back to that level of play? Yeah, I have all the confidence in the world that w that we can get back to that level, and uh, I know that other guys think that too. And we know how good we can be. It's just a matter of the quality of play. And, um, I think Coach Bennett touches on this once in a while. It's it's about quality, and um, I think tonight we had some really good quality basketball. Rather, I mean, whether or not the ball was going in the hoop, or you know, sometimes we had a couple breakdowns on defense. But I think overall it was a quality game for us. Hey Justin, uh, Coach Bennett pra praised the attitude that you bring not only to games but to practice. How would you describe your role on the team as you see it? I would say my role is bringing energy and effort all the time. I mean, I think, you know, going along with that, you know, just playing the right way, scoring, rebounding, all those things that, you know, that people like, I think I think that'll come. So I think being patient with that stuff, but just, you know, scoring or rebounding and inner or sorry, excuse me, energy and effort, I think are, are the biggest things. Um, you know, I know I've been through a lot this season and um, I was kind of, you know, I was unhappy with some of the results I was getting, but um, at the same time, you know, these coaches told me to stay ready and to stay positive and just, you know, believing in them wholeheartedly, I think was, was a big part of that. I know when, when Isaiah Wilkins played here, the term blue guy was used an awful lot to describe him and his impact on the team. Have the coaches ever brought him up as someone you could pattern your game after? My first year, they talked about that a lot, and then they said they could see uh, me being like that. And then, you know, I mean, it, it might have been mentioned lightly th at the beginning of this year, but just, um, you know, whatever the, whatever the coaches need, whatever role they want me to fill, I mean, I'm, I'm willing to fill it. I just, you know, I want to be a part of a winning team, and I want to help this team win as much as I can. Justin, I'm curious with Sam Hauser and his offensive skill set, uh, how big has he been for you guys, not just tonight, but in other games where there's scoring lulls and he seems like he's the guy who can pull you out of them? Yes, um, Sam is a special player, um, very, very gifted offensively. Um, it's a challenge to go against him every day in practice for the last two years. Um, I think it's gotten me a lot better. And um, I've been able to learn a lot from him as well. I mean, even watching, you know, him playing games, you know, just watching what he does. Sometimes I try to, you know, see what he does, what moves he makes, what reads he makes. And so, I mean, just being able to learn from him, you know, personally has been, you know, a blessing. But also just having him in our program, having him help us, like you said, you know, be that offensive um, scoring uh, kick, you know, help helps. And Coach Bennett mentioned the idea that he never really got to play in front of the JPJ crowd. <laughs> Uh, do you feel kind of bad for him, and, and what did he miss out on? Yeah, I, I feel bad for him as well as, you know, a lot of other our other seniors. Uh, they just, you know, I think it would have been really cool for them to play in front of a crowd, especially guys like, you know, Jay Huff, who, who's been here a while. You know, he's been very patient. But, you know, Sam came in, you know, didn't have really a crowd. And I think it would have just been special for those guys. So I do feel bad for them. But, um, you know, we love playing the game a lot, and I know that that's, that's the most important thing. Justin, you waited a while this season to get consistent playing time and consistent minutes. How rewarding has it been the last couple games to get on the court and get those minutes? I've been very happy. Um, like I said, you know, just trusting the coaches wholeheartedly when they say, you know, be patient, you know, your time is coming, just be ready, stay ready, we're going to need you. Um, you know, I think it can be easy when you're not playing to be like, oh, you know, whatever. But, you know, I, b I believe these guys wholeheartedly. You know, I believe everything that they say, and I try to listen to them as much as I can. And. It's been really rewarding, but you know the job's not finished. We we have a lot we have a lot to go. Daniel Stein, Brad Franklin, and Vanessa. I was meeting and I'm myself. Sorry. Um, so on top of that, it looked like you were just having really a good time out there. You had a big smile on your face for a lot of the game. You seemed to just be happy and having fun. Is that an accurate reflection of what today was like for you? I, I would agree. I think, you know, just I've, I've been trying to play with joy. You know, Coach Ben always tells us, you know, you're covered, play with play with joy and play with passion. And, um, you know, the game is very serious, but at the same time, you know, I, I don't think you can 
you can play just, you know, frowning all the time. You know, I, I like to smile. Um, I still like to play hard and work hard. But, um, you know, my smile is not a my smile is not a reflection of like, you know, technically just passiveness. But, yeah, I just play with the joy. Justin, you mentioned a few minutes ago sort of, uh, you know, you didn't have necessarily the results maybe early in the year you wanted. You mentioned you know, something to the effect of, you know, it's kind of been an up and down year for you. How tough was this year for you and how nice is it to sort of see it kind of come around? Um, you know, I think not playing as a player is really tough. You know, I know a lot of our guys, you know, that are still going through it. And, you know, I'm just trying to be in there as much as I can. Um, I went through it the whole entire season for the most part last year. And so, I mean, I, I just know, you know, just keep improving every day as much as I can and just, you know, don't don't let it get in my head as much and just keep responding every day with a positive attitude, positive mindset, and just keep growing. But, um, yeah, that's that's the main thing. And one more quick one for me. You, with those, you know, 26, 27 seconds, you know, Jay comes off the floor and you guys are sort of chatting over here uh, in the corner. You look like you were talking to him a lot. He seemed to talk to you. What, what kind of things are you guys talking about there? Um, I told him that, you know, even though it wasn't his, his greatest game statistically that he's had this season in his senior night, I told him that, you know, we, we have a lot more to accomplish and we're going to need him as much as we can. And, um, and he came back and responded that he doesn't care you know, as long as we got the win and he was proud of the night that I had and he was waiting for this for me. So, you know, it's just, it was really cool to hear and um, that's my guy, I love him. Justin, I wanted to ask, you mentioned bringing bounce and rebounding those things. Normally post game, we see you on the court working on your jumper and things like that. How do you feel your offensive game is, has come around the last year or so and you have eight points tonight? I think I think all the work I've been putting in has been helping a lot. You know, these coaches they put they put me in good spots. They uh, they help me out pre practice. Um, you know, a lot of times you know our head coaches and our, all our assistant coaches are help rebounding, talking to us, helping us. You know, get shots up. And I don't think that a lot of programs see that. You know, pre practice. So I think I think that's very special and a testament to our coaching staff. But also just you know, I just continue to work hard on my game, and I think um, I think that's another big part as well.